green color, where are you? Here. Wow. Green. Purple color, purple color, where are you? Here. Middle finger and palm. Purple. Red color, red color, where are you? Here. Index finger. Lovely. Red. Yellow color, yellow color, where are you? Here. A yellow thumb. Thumbs up. Yay, yellow. Amazing. Yellow, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye purple. See you later green. Bye blue. Let's start again. Black color, black color, where are you? Here. Baby finger is black. Orange color, orange color, where are you? Here. Orange tastic. Pink color, pink color, where are you? It is pink, but it's not the pinky. Silver color, silver color, where are you? Here. Lovely. Silver. Brown color, brown color, where are you? Here you are. On the thumb you go. Brown. Wow, amazing. Brown. Bye bye. Silver. See you later. Pink. It's time for you to go, I think. Bye-bye, Orange! See you, Black! When will you be back? Woohoo! Amazing hands! Red! Black Yellow Purple Brown Pink Silver Bye Hey kids, how are you today? Let's draw a butterfly I love butterflies, don't you? We do a circle for the head and a long oval shape for the body with some curvy lines. There, let's do the wings. They're kind of like heart shapes with one part bigger than the other part. So the top wing's going to be slightly larger than the bottom wing. And then a couple more at the bottom, one on each side. Little one. Brilliant, let's do the antennae. Curly whirly. Curly whirly. Some eyes. These are just little circles, nice and easy. And a curvy line for a smile. 
Now let's decorate some spots, one on each of the lower smaller wings. Time to colour! We're going to do the butterfly's body in yellow using a nice bright colouring pen. You can always use paint or crayons or even pencils, whatever you prefer to use to colour in your butterfly. And if you feel like it, you could do each section of the butterfly's body in a different colour. There, let's do orange spots. Brilliant! Purple for the lower wings. I love that combination of orange and purple. The darkness of the purple really makes the brightness of the orange stand out. Lovely. Have you ever seen a real butterfly? Maybe in the garden or in the meadows? Aren't they just beautiful? Right, let's colour the wings. We're going for a pretty in pink. Some nice long strokes here, colouring it in very quickly and easily. And then we just tidy up around the edges. It's got a nice thin tip, this pen, so that makes it easy to just stay in between the black lines. Same for the bottom wing. Do you know what baby butterflies are called? That's right, they are called caterpillars. Isn't it amazing how a caterpillar turns into this beautiful butterfly? They eat and eat and eat and eat, and then they form a chrysalis around them, like a happy home to live in and hibernate for quite some time, and then they burst through and come out as a gorgeous butterfly. And did you know when they come out, their wings are folded? And then they open them out, these beautiful bright pink wings. Wow! Butterflies come in all different colours. There, let's do the face now. That's going to be yellow, just like the body, but a paler yellow. And the eyes. Now let's shade the border to make it nice and thick. And it just completes the final look. And it looks great. There some pupils and we are done brilliant hands yep that's right we're gonna give you a hand to draw a hand you can always trace around your own hand or just draw it freestyle like this using a dark black pen we're going to draw both of our hands the right and the left hey are you right-handed or left-handed well, I think that's really cool. Let's colour. Gonna start with glittery gold. Ooh, so nice on the left hand side. What should we do next? How about red? So we're doing long vertical sections here from the fingers down through the palm to the wrist. Next, we're gonna go for green. Whoa, look at these colours. Hey, you can even colour your hands in the colours of your flag if you wanted to be nice and patriotic. Let's go for purple. We're doing a nice multi-coloured hand because we love bright colours. Now, what's left? It's the thumb. Let's go for nice royal blue for our very important thumb. Well, we couldn't do much on a phone without it, could we? Let's go to our right hand, starting with royal blue for the thumb. We like them to be matching, and why not? Did you know that there are 27 bones in the human hand? 27 bones! And the fingers contain some of the densest areas of nerve endings in your entire body. Isn't it just amazing? Green next! You got it! That's right! Now, can you remember which colour came next to green? It's red! That's right! Good job! You're almost there! We've got one more section to colour after this. And it's going to be... 
Gold! Gorgeous gold! All the way down from side to side, staying in between the lines. Yes! You did it! Great job! High five! Hey kids, let's draw a cute baby elephant today. Starting by doing the outline of the face and the little tuft of hair at the top. We're doing this with a bold black pen and the trunk goes there. Let's do some eyes. Oval shapes quite far apart. And the centre. Pupils. Little bit of shine. Lovely. Time for the eyebrows. Eyelashes. Three on each side. And a smiley mouth. Let's do some crinkles on the nose. And the ears. They look a bit like wings, don't they? Aww. Right, now for the front part. We're doing the two front legs. The tummy. And now we're going to do the other two legs. And this baby elephant is sitting down. So we show the bottom of the feet. They're almost done. Brilliant! Time to thicken up the border. If we do this, it really makes the colour stand out when we paint it. There! What colour should we go for? Pink! We're using colouring pens this time, but if you like, you can use pencils, crayons or even paint. What do you prefer? So we're carefully going around the tuft of hair. Going around the eyes. We're colouring in diagonally from one corner to the other corner. We've got a nice fine tipped pen here because it helps us go around the fine detail. Thick pens make it quite difficult to avoid colouring in bits you don't want to when you need to go around black borders like this. For example, the elephant's hair or the elephant's eyes, eyebrows, lashes. But this makes it super easy. See? Just like that. Now you don't have to do pink, you could do a blue elephant, a grey elephant, even a rainbow elephant. Whatever colour is your favourite, you can choose. We like pink because it's a baby elephant and it's so cute. So just doing the trunk. Hmm, shall we give our elephant a name? Can you think of any good names for baby elephants? How about Cubby or Cherry? How about Elsa? Frosty? Caramel? Oh, oh, I know! Bubbles! So we're going to do the front part of the body now. Lovely. Hey, can you think of any famous elephant cartoon characters? Do you have a favourite one? Have you ever seen the movie Dumbo? It's about a little elephant who has huge ears. Now I know elephants have big ears anyway, but Dumbo had massive ears. They were so huge, they were bigger than the rest of his body. And he got teased badly for these big ears, you know? But I'll tell you something amazing. He became a famous elephant because those big ears ended up being like wings and he learned to fly. He was a flying elephant. And when he learned that he could do this wonderful thing, nobody ever teased him again. They were actually all jealous of his big flying ears. Imagine if you could fly, the things you would see from the air. Wouldn't it be exciting? Right, the main body's done. So it's time to do the rim of the ears. And the other side. Great job! Let's change the colour. We're going to go for a darker shade of pink. It's more like a fuchsia shade, quite bright. It's a lovely technique when you are shading things in to use different shades of the same colour. Meaning if you choose pink, for example, you could do light pink, medium pink, dark pink. 
and there are pinks which are more purpley pinks and there are pinks which are more red kind of pinks so you can choose different shades of light and dark and nearing to other colours and if you want it to be really bright and colourful you can choose completely different colours it's all up to you right we're gonna go for blue eyes don't they look lovely let's go for some blue hair too that's great because it matches her lovely eyes oh <laughs> she's so cute hey kids how are you today would you like to learn how to draw a chick yay brilliant right we are drawing the chick breaking free from its egg that's right this little chick has just hatched so we do the beak and the eyes its eyes are closed little tuft of hair and the feet now let's do the cracked egg one on this side some jiggity jaggedy edges there and one on the other side they're sort of semicircles with jiggity jaggedy edges some little fragments here and there right time to shade up the border and the egg pieces yay let's paint a lovely yellow colour this is kind of a pastel yellow colour it's very nice for a baby chick did you know that when chicks hatch for the first couple of days they eat from the yolk of their egg sac isn't that amazing that's before they start eating real food now what do chicks eat i hear you ask can you guess well baby chicks can eat all different things but the best things to give them would you believe are eggs that's right because eggs have protein and vitamins that's all that baby chick really needs you can also give them bread soaked in milk and things like seeds and leafy greens spinach lettuce cabbage sunflower seeds and flax seeds it's all very good for them so if you ever fancy having your own chick at home that's what you need to feed them did you know that it takes about 18 weeks for a baby chick to start laying its own eggs that's right if you get one of these you could lay its own eggs in no time so we're using a darker shade of yellow almost orange there for the tummy at the bottom adds a little bit of shade detail and a lighter touch here so it's almost fading into that darker colour even lighter touch here this shading effect is really cool there let's do the beak and the top part we're going to do a bit of white So we're taking a simple yellow chick and we're adding different shades to create some light and shade in our picture. Orange feet. Now for the eggs. So we're doing grey for the inside. So that's in between our jiggity jaggedy edges. Lovely. Did you know that actually any baby bird is called a chick? That's right. So it's not necessarily going to become a chicken. It could become any bird, but it's a baby, so we'll call it a chick. Now for baby chickens, there's another name as well as chick. We also call them peeps. Hey, that would be a cute name for this chick, don't you think? Hello, peeps. Ah. Fragments of the egg can be grey too. 
And for the outside bit, we're going to do it in an almost white colour. Kind of a whitey grey. The other grey that we used for the inside is almost blue. So again, different shades of the same colour. So the inside of the egg looks darker than the outside shell. That's it. Keep going to the other egg. Carefully painting in between the black lines. Almost there. You're doing brilliantly. Last piece. And we're done. Finishing touches. Ta-da! Hey kids, I'm feeling a bit peckish. How about you? I'm going to draw something delicious. Can you guess what it is? You have a go. See if you can copy. Wavy lines. Ooh, another semicircle. And an oval. Ooh, more squiggly lines. Some little baby rectangles. What could this be? Hmm. Did you figure it out? That's right! It's a donut! Yummy! Let's draw something else. That looks like a cherry. Hmm. What could that be? Leaves, I think. Ooh, looks like a slice of something. Maybe a yummy pastry. What do you think? It's a triangle, isn't it? With lots of layers. Ooh, time to shade the border up. As always, we like to thicken the dark border to make the colours stand out once we paint or colour it in. Yay! Let's start with pink for our donut. We're going to carefully colour around our sprinkles. Do you know how to spell donut? Well, it's a trick question actually because donut has two spellings. If you look in the dictionary, you'll see a spelling that we use here in the UK and it is D O U G H N U T. Donut. If you go to America, however, they do a simplified spelling D O N U T. D O N A T. Donut. So, either works. Either way, it tastes delicious, doesn't it? Finishing touches. Right, time to do the cream. Chocolate, I think. What flavour cream would you like in your donut? Perhaps vanilla or strawberry? Chocolate is my favourite. Yum yum. Right, let's colour in our chocolate cream on the inside too. So basically where we have our squiggly lines, that is the chocolate cream. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Let's go for a nice orange colour for the inside. And the last part. So that's the colour of our lovely baked donut. This donut has strawberry icing, sprinkles, and chocolate sauce. What does your donut look like? What flavour is it? Right, let's do the sprinkles. We've got yellow, red, and green. Excellent. 
Time to colour in our pastry, red cherry and green leaves. There, let's do pink now for the top. This can be our icing. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Carefully going around the leaves. It's always a good idea to go around the borders really carefully first and then you can just shade the rest of it in. And done. Right, we're going to do purple for our first segment. I wonder what flavour this is going to be. Maybe raspberry, blueberry. There, let's do some chocolate icing in the middle. We do love a bit of chocolate. How about some yellow underneath that? This is looking like a really cool pastry. Oh, don't you just want to have a bite? Maybe this is custard. We're going to go for orange at the bottom to keep our nice rainbow colourful theme going. Perhaps that's a little bit of biscuit there or even cake. Doesn't it look delicious? Hey kids, how are you today? We're going to draw a tooth, a toothpaste and a toothbrush. Do you brush your teeth? I hope you do. It's very important to brush your teeth every day. So we're doing a nice happy tooth with a smiley face looking up towards the tube of toothpaste which has squeezed a little bit of toothpaste on the tooth's head. Oh look, it looks like a little bit of hair. The toothpaste tube is also very happy and looking right back at Mr Tooth. Some eyelashes, there's some stripes. Time for the toothbrush. The bristles and the handle. And there you have it, ready to darken the border. And ready to paint. We're going to do the tooth a nice pastely blue colour. Now you can stick to white if you like, or you can be creative and make it a rainbow tooth. Perhaps a sparkly tooth. So we're just carefully painting around the facial features. Not wanting to go over any of those black lines. There you go, and around the mouth. So a little bit of care taken here, and then just fill the rest in, nice and easy. When you reach the bottom border, just again be careful to stay in between the black lines. There. Finishing touches. Excellent. Let's paint in the toothpaste, shall we? Lovely and orange. It's nice in a painting to have a contrast of bright and more pale colours. Contrast is when two things are different or even opposite. Again, painting around the facial features. And in between our stripes. Now can anyone tell me when should you brush your teeth? That's right! We should brush our teeth last thing at night before we go to bed and on one other occasion every day. Maybe when you wake up. Maybe after breakfast. When do you brush your teeth? Lovely yellow stripe there. How long do you think we should brush our teeth for? Two minutes! That's right, we should brush our teeth for two minutes each time to make sure they are sparkly clean. This gorgeous yellow colour against the orange and then a blue lid.
Let's do pink toothpaste. Perhaps it's strawberry flavour. Have you ever tried strawberry flavoured toothpaste? It's lovely. We're going to go for that same royal blue for our toothbrush as we have on the lid of the toothpaste. Excellent. Great. Little bit of shine on the tooth. It's nice and shiny because of all that brushing you've been doing. Perfecting the eyes and the mouth. Adding some eyebrows. And there you have it. Brilliant. Kids, would you like to learn how to draw and paint a baby shark? You would? Brilliant! Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just doing the outline first of all with a black pen, the tail, and a little flower. Let's do the fins. Excellent! And some eyes. Little cheek. Smiley mouth. Ready to paint. Let's go for blue. Lovely. Royal blue do 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 Royal blue 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 Royal blue do 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 Royal blue Looking fantastic or should I say fantastic That's right then the tail And almost done There Just this fin and we're going for some light blue now very nice. That is for the mouth area and the tummy. Lovely. This is a great trick to use different shades of the same colour. The top fin as well. Bright yellow for the flower petals. And pink for the rosy cheek and centre of the flower to match. And there you have it. A cute sparkly blue baby shark. Dee -dee. You did it! Hi kids! Look at this gorgeous rainbow heart! Do you fancy having a go at drawing and painting it? Oh, you do? We'll start with the baby one in the middle and then we just do bigger ones around the outside getting bigger and bigger and bigger and one more There! Ready to darken the border We like a nice, bold, thick black colour because it really makes the colour stand out. Ready to paint? Start with red for the outside. You can use any colours you like of course. Even different shades of the same colour would look fantastic. Perhaps you could start with the darkest on the outside and get lighter as you go into the middle. We're going to go for a lovely gold orange colour next. Following the shape around, staying in between the black lines. Let's go for yellow now. You see how we're getting lighter? Maybe we should change the pattern now. What do you think? Yeah, let's go for green. Green and yellow, those lovely citrusy colours. Followed by blue. And last but not least, purple for our baby heart in the middle. There, it's perfect don't you think? I just love it, what a gorgeous, vibrant, sparkly rainbow heart. Hey kids, fancy painting your toenails? What colour shall we do? Red, yellow, purple, green and pink. Oh, I love it! Rainbow toenails! So we start by drawing the outline of the toes. You can even draw around your own feet if you like. And then just get smaller and smaller in size with the nails at the end and little creases. Time to do the nail varnish pot. With a little love heart decoration. And of course, let's not forget the lid with the brush. Some stripes and ready to paint. Okay, we're going for red for our first toenail. That's our big toe. Yellow for the second. 
Do you remember the colour of the third? Yep, that's right, it was purple. And then green. Well remembered. How about the last one? Pink for the baby toe. Well done. Peach colour for the toes themselves. Keeping in between the black lines. You see, we've used a nice thick black marker pen to draw our foot. Using a small paintbrush will make it easier to stay in between the lines. Side to side, side to side, filling it all in. Brilliant, you're doing a great job. Do you ever paint your toenails? Or fingernails for that matter? I love painting mine. I really like sparkly colours the most. And we are done! Ready to do the nail varnish pot. Pink for the lid. And a lovely blue for the stem. With some red varnish on the end. Purple for a couple of the stripes with a green one in between. We like variety. Let's go for yellow for the main part of our nail varnish pot. Excellent. And what colour should we do the heart? Red. I was thinking exactly the same. And there you have it. Let's paint again. It's so satisfying. Red. Yellow. Purple. Green. And pink. Well done! Hey kids, today we're going to draw and paint a family. Ah, oh, so much love. Right, let's start with the outlines. We're going to start with mum, her hair and her face. Maybe you could even draw your mum. Nice collar on a shirt, some hands. Let's do a skirt and her legs and feet. Brilliant! Who's next? It is the daughter with a lovely little hair bow in her hair. Happy face, rosy cheeks. She's wearing a nice dress. Frilly at the bottom. Ooh, lovely. And her brother with some cool hairdo. He's a super cool dude. T-shirt with a smiley face on and some shorts. Last but not least, we've got Dad. Nice bit of curly hair. Moustache. He's wearing a smart shirt there. Short sleeves, so we've got his arms too. We're showing his arms. And a tie. Stripes on that. Pocket detail. Some trousers. Pockets. There you go. Ready to paint. Hmm. Let's start with Mummy's hair. Brown. Well, what colour is your Mummy's hair? Maybe it's blonde, so you could use a yellow paint. Maybe it's black. Maybe it's blue. Peach for her face. Again, you can adapt the colours to suit your family if you like. Hands as well. And legs. She's not wearing tights. Pink for the rosy cheeks. And let's do her t-shirt pink as well. Lovely. And yellow for the collar and the sleeves and the belt. Let's go for purple for the bottom half. A lovely purple skirt. Red shoes, why not? And let's do a yellow hair bow for the little girl. And some nice pink rosy cheeks. Brown hair, just like her mommy. Lovely. Now a nice peachy face, just like her mommy hands and legs. Let's go for green now for her dress. Ooh, what a gorgeous, vibrant colour it is. Red for the collar and cuffs and the frills. And I think gold shoes. Ooh, look at that. Now brown hair for her brother too. This is a brown haired family. And a peachy face. Maybe you could look at your family and see what clothes they're wearing and copy those designs and colours. Maybe they're wearing a hat. Maybe they have a purse or a handbag. Hmm, have a look and see what you can figure out. Red t-shirt for him. Yellow smiley face. And some blue shorts. Let's do dark blue shoes. Yeah, time for dad. He's going brown head too. Squiggly, squiggly, curly, curly. Don't forget the moustache. And a lovely peachy face as well. 
perfect and the ears arms and hands rosy cheeks of course green for his belt and collar lovely Ooh, we're going for a nice vibrant red color at the top of his tie and some yellow for the stripes a lovely royal blue color for his shirt super smart don't you think just going around the pocket and the tie we can do the pocket a different color make it interesting a light blue now we're going for gold for his trouser pockets and zip and why not the rest of his trousers too what color should we do his shoes blue what a great idea match his pocket and there you have it a gorgeous colorful vibrant sparkly family full of love how did you do did you enjoy making that picture i bet you loved doing it oh me too it was so much fun see you next time hey kids today we're going to show you how to draw and paint some dental care products that's right you gotta brush those beauties so let's start by drawing the outlines first of all we're going to do the toothbrush it's a long stick and of course the brush and some toothpaste on it too some nice stripes and now we're going to draw a mouth the lips some teeth and there we go let's draw one big tooth all by itself with a dash of toothpaste on the top excellent and a smiley face ah all right time for the toothpaste drawing the tube of a tooth on there okay are you ready to paint starting with yellow we're going to paint the toothbrush just going around those stripes because we're going to do those in a red color lovely now we're going to go for green for the bristles and a lovely blue and some pink for the toothpaste let's do the lips red I think lovely do you know what people used to do before toothpaste was invented? They used to use things like ground up chalk or charcoal, even ashes, to clean their teeth. We're going to go for some nice rainbow colours for the bit of toothpaste on top of our tooth man. You know, it was only about a hundred years ago that someone finally created a minty cream to clean teeth. Not long after that, the toothpaste tube was invented. So let's paint it, starting with yellow and then some red matching our toothbrush nicely and some purple some green in the middle wow that really stands out against the purple doesn't it lovely some pink around the tooth can you believe how lucky we are that we know so much about how to take care of our teeth now long ago as people got older their teeth would just rot away and it would be so painful to get rid of a toothache they had to pull their teeth out can you believe that finally people learned that cleaning their teeth was important so let's brush well done kids you did a fantastic job and mr tooth is very happy and remember keep brushing hey kids would you like to learn how to draw flowers it is super easy and you can do it all different ways look let's show you first of all you draw your center which is just a little circle and then some nice oval shapes to form your petals and there you go that was easy wasn't it let's try a different one this time we're going to do a little cut in the middle of each petal and they're a bit wider than the last one there now for this flower we're going to make the petals look like heart shapes perfect this one has long thin petals just like a daisy and we're doing a second layer as well these petals are shorter and wider with a lovely detail around the center so you can experiment with these different shaped flowers use your imagination and think how many different types you could draw this one has more pointy leaves and two layers do you know how many different types of flowers have been found in the world so far about 400,000 can you believe that all of them are different 
So have fun with this, be creative and experiment with different sized and shaped petals. Okay, I think we're ready to paint. Ooh, let's start with this one. Purple for the center. Some lovely yellow petals. I have to say, this is one of my favorite color combinations. Purple and yellow, absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? Maybe you could name your flowers. Make up your own names. Do you know what the 10 most popular flowers are? Let's tell you. We've got the rose. You all know roses, don't you? They come in all different colors, but most famous rose is a red rose. And we're going to paint this flower's petals red. Lovely. And I'll mix it up with a different color in between because that will look very interesting. After roses, the most popular flower is the tulip. They also come in all different colours and they're absolutely gorgeous. Then you've got the sunflower, of course. Have you ever tried to grow a sunflower from a seed? I recommend it. They're amazing. And they're yellow, just like these petals. Also very popular and a wonderful sign of the first beginnings of spring is the daffodil. I'm sure you've seen those around. They are gorgeous and they really cheer people up after a hard, cold winter. Then we've got the marigold. Again, they can come in you know, slightly different shades. And here we're doing a lovely red one with a yellow centre. You can also do different shades of the same colour. It looks beautiful. Daisies, of course, are very popular. Have you ever tried to make a daisy chain? A necklace or a bracelet or even an anklet out of daisies, making a little hole in the end of the stem and then just joining them up together to form a band. It's so much fun. The orchid is one of the most beautiful flowers ever that we love to put them in our windows on display. Carnations are also very popular. Gerberas, which come in all different colours, just like this one. And jasmine. Jasmine has the most gorgeous smell. Let's go for yellow for the centre of this one and some purple on the outside. So it's like a backwards version of our first flower, which was yellow petals and purple inside. Let's carefully paint around our detail. There! Lovely. Hmm, let's do this one yellow in the middle. We've got a big centre point in this one and some pink around that. Excellent. What colour do you think we should do our second layer of petals? Should we do it the same or a different colour? Yay, blue! What a great choice! Blue and pink go really well together, don't you think? That's looking lovely. Okay, let's do the next one. So we're going to go for gold in the middle. And green around the outside. Beautiful. It's like a little sun shining in the centre of a green field. Almost there. And we're done. Excellent. Last but not least, let's do our long petaled flower. Green in the middle this time and pink petals. This one does look a bit like a daisy, doesn't it? It's just a different colour. Imagine if we had pink daisies, wouldn't that be wonderful? Flowers are just amazing and you can have loads of fun with this designing your own, even making up your own names. There you go. Now let's see them close up. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Let's see another. Oh, look at that. Those colours are just wonderful. Oh, I'm feeling like summer is here already with all these gorgeous flowers. Flowers really brighten up your day, don't you think? So if you haven't already done so, I recommend you get some seeds and plant them in your garden if you have a garden. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can just plant them in some lovely pots. Do be sure to keep them in the sunshine and make sure you water them daily as well because flowers need sunshine and water to grow. You'll be so excited when you see those little green leaves sprouting up from the mud. 
which one is your favourite? Oh, it's so difficult to decide. I just love them all. Well done. You did a fantastic job drawing and painting these gorgeous glitter flowers. Hey kids, let's draw. Today we're going to draw and paint a computer and keyboard. That's right, so now we're doing a rectangle shape for the monitor and another one for the keyboard, each with a border. Drawing the keys on now. Crisscross those lines. Join it all up. A few buttons and a mouse, of course. Don't forget the screensaver. Let's do a rainbow. Fantastic. There, ready to paint. Pink, first of all, for our computer frame. This part of the computer is called the monitor and this is where we see all the pictures and read all the words. Do you have a computer at home? How about a phone? Mobile phones are just like mini computers. Green now for the one button and blue for the next. Yellow for the third. Let's go for a darker blue for the stem of the computer and yellow for the border of the keyboard. Gorgeous. Red now for the first lot of keys. Green next. We love a rainbow keyboard and why not? Purple. You can choose your favourite colours. Blue. Did you know that computers were first invented in 1822? That's a long time ago by a man named Charles Babbage. They weren't built till 1991 though. Well, we've come a long way since then. Some red in the middle of our mouse and green to finish it off. Time to do our rainbow. Starting with red. Then orange. Red and yellow and pink and green. Purple and orange and blue I can sing a rainbow Sing a rainbow Sing a rainbow too Doesn't it just look beautiful? I love this computer! Nearly done! Purple for the last part And yes! You did it! Hello! And welcome to the Dinosaur Land! We're going to draw and paint a gorgeous T-Rex. A kind of friendly, smiley T-Rex. I think so. So just drawing those lovely sharp teeth. Ooh yeah, I'm the T-Rex and I'll eat whoever is next. Ha ha ha! Those lovely claws. Ooh, look at that. The tummy. The leg and the foot. And the other one. This T-Rex is going for a walkabout. Some triangle shapes on its back. And ready to paint. We're going for a vibrant green colour. A dinosaur green colour. Absolutely perfect for Mr T-Rex. Using a very small tipped paintbrush to carefully paint around those scary snappers and around the triangle patterns on the back. Lots of care to be taken here because there's lots of black lines that we have to stay in between. Careful with the detail. So take your time, no need to rush. You can always pause this video. The arms and hands and the legs and the feet. Excellent. You're doing a great job, keep going. Brown, we're going to do for the claws. And fingers, of course. There! Let's go for yellow now for our lovely tummy. A yellow belly. All the way to the end of the tail. And going for a darker green for the triangle pattern on his back. It's great to use different shades of the same colour. Always looks good. And there you have it. Keeping those scary snappers white. Ready for his next meal, he's going walkies! T-Rex Hello Mr Alien, how are you today? I would love to meet you, even better, I'd like to draw you! Yes I would, I'm going to start by drawing your head! 
and some big oval eyes and a smiley mouth. Let's draw your neck and your hands. You're holding on to your steering wheel there. I think it's your spaceship. Yay, semicircle and an oval shape and a big oval shape. Let's divide it off into sections and do some final details. Lovely. How about the rim? And the bottom part and of course some feet so it can land. Brilliant. Time to paint. We'll start with green. Now I wonder why when we think of aliens we always think of little green men. Have you ever wondered why? Perhaps your alien could be different. It could be purple and fuzzy with five arms. Or how about round and yellow and fluffy with three eyes, even with ten legs. Whatever you prefer, you could make up your own alien. Right now we're going for some silver paint to paint our gear sticks. And we'll paint the inside blue. What's your favourite colour? What colour would you like to paint your spaceship? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Excellent. Now we're going to go for the gold. Painting the back section with that colour. And red for the next section. So the great thing about dividing our flying saucer into sections is that you can choose different colours for each. Let's go for red on the other side too. Symmetry is always a good thing because it's the same on both sides. We'll go for a yellow spot there and we'll do the middle section yellow going around the spots. So little dashes of the same colour here and there also looks great when you're painting. Well, Mr Alien's looking very happy with his spaceship. Let's paint the other one. How about some purple for the front dots? Looking fantastic. What do you think? Blue for the rim. And the middle dot. Pink would be a lovely colour for the underneath of our spaceship. Right, now let's do the feet. Shall we make them green, just like Mr Alien? How about a gold one in the middle to match the back of our spaceship? There, it's perfect. Wow, Mr Alien, where are you going and where are you from? I would love to see your planet one day. Would you take me there? What's it called? Where is it? Come on, let's go. Hey kids, how are you today? We are going to learn the alphabet. That's right. And we're going to draw it and paint it too. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I love drawing. We'll start with the letter A, then B, then C, and D. What comes next? It's E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. What comes next? L, then M, N, O, P, yay, Q, R, S, T, U, V. What's next? That's right, it's W, X, Y and Z or Z. Now we know our ABCs, this time won't you paint with me? Red. A is going to be red like an a a apple. B is going to be yellow like a b b b b banana. C can be purple like a purple carrot. Yes, you can get purple carrots. Green for D, like a dinosaur. E can be pink, like a pink elephant. What colour shall we do F? Blue, what a great choice. Blue for a blue frog. Yellow again for G. G is going to be a giraffe. Next is H and we're going through the green again. How about a green helicopter? And I can be for ice, blue ice. J -j 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 jelly, strawberry flavoured because it's pink. Next we're going for K, gold, koala. Hmm, what shall we do for the letter L? Blue, what a great choice. It could be a blue lizard. Ooh. M can be red for a red monkey. Well, why not? It's my monkey and I want it to be red. Purple for N because it's such a nice colour. Ooh, let's go for gold again for O. It's almost orange, so we say off for orange. Red p p p p p p p penguin. Why not? 
green for a queen because it almost rhymes a green queen get it blue for r r r r rocket because we're zooming into space yellow for s sun that's right a yellow sun pink for t t t t t t t telephone purple for a umbrella now let's do yellow for a v v v v violin and a window can be pink lovely i'm going for the gold again for a xylophone my favorite musical instrument green for a yo-yo i like playing with yo-yos it's so much fun and last but not least a red zebra well done! You drew and painted the whole alphabet, all 26 letters of it. Great job! Fantastic! Subscribe and watch more!